All right, let's just do something we like to call social media check-in. Let's check in with what people are asking on social media. Edward Nihal on, on YouTube. What happens to me if I overstayed on my visitor's visa? You're undocumented. Kayla Drake's on Facebook. How can I become a permanent resident in the U.S.? By magic. Sandra Leslie <laughs> on Facebook. I mean, it, I mean, it go, it's like a book that's 5,000 pages long on how to become a permanent resident. Yes. Okay. Got, need Sandra a little more, little, need a little Facebook. more information on that one. So magic. Cool. For right now. Sandra Leslie on Facebook. Uh, if I visit my U.S. citizen boyfriend in America and we marry within 90 days, can I stay? Uh, your permanent resident boyfriend, you marry within 90 days, you committed a misrepresentation. Uh, a U.S. citizen boyfriend. You still committed a misrepresentation. Yeah, you can't come for visiting for purposes of marrying. If you get married after 90 days, you did not come to visit for purposes of marrying. Brian on YouTube, if my request to expedite my case was denied, will they delay my case now even further? No, not necessarily. Charles Williams on YouTube, I'm Liberian and entered the US in 2015. I was rejected for a LRIF under the Trump administration. But since President Biden just passed the TPS, can I now benefit from these programs? Yes. Susie Diamond on Instagram, if my son filed for me in 2018 and I received my green card in February of 2020, can I file for my citizenship? No, you gotta wait till uh, December 2024. Moses Paris on Facebook, can someone who was granted withholding a removal instead of asylum due to missing the one year filing deadline uh, be eligible to file a motion to reopen their asylum if Biden's new immigration law passes? Presumably yes, because that deadline won't exist anymore. Kareen from Instagram, I filed my AOS in April. I just received my work permit and social security number, but my married name wasn't on them. When the form was filled out, it was my maiden name. Can I change it to my married name? Uh, after you get your green card, change it. Right now, that would screw up because your social security card wouldn't match your work permit because you can't change the work permit without submitting it back to immigration. And then it's going to be a nine, 10 month wait. So just stay in your maiden name for right now. It's not the end of the world. It's a modern world anyway. So you don't have to necessarily take your spouse's uh, married name. After you get your green card, it'll be a lot easier. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.